So are you thinking about moving to the Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Florida area? But maybe you want to get a feel for what some of the suburbs are like. Well, today we're going to talk about one suburb in particular. It's called Safety Harbor, Florida. It is right across the bay from Tampa and directly north of St. Petersburg. And we're going to go over what's good, what's bad, the pros, the cons, and everything in between. So if you ever thought about living in the Tampa Bay area and Safety Harbor has crossed your mind once or twice, stick with me because today you're going to get a really good feel for the pros and the cons. Let's go. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about the St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay area, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you don't want to miss a thing about the ever-changing market. My name is Gina. My team and I have been helping people just like you move to the Tampa Bay area for the last 11 years. So whether you're looking to make a move, learn more about the area, or get a good feel for some of the spots in and around the Tampa Bay, reach out to us at any time, all of our information is below and we would love to help you make a stress-free move to the Tampa Bay area. Okay, let's get into this already. Let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Safety Harbor, Florida. So I'm gonna start you off with a pro. And the number one pro, the thing I think of most of when I think of Safety Harbor is that it's a quaint, small town feel. When you come to Safety Harbor, you feel as if you are in this small town and that everyone has been there forever and knows everybody and you feel like you can just walk around and you just feel at home. It has this quaint feeling to it. It has a small, somewhat busy downtown, but not too overbearing. It has the waterfront, it has the parks and Basically the rest of it is residential, but when you are there, it feels like you're in a small town, not near a big, huge city like Tampa. So that I would say is one of the really cool things about Safety Harbor and definitely one of the pros. Okay, with that being said, we're gonna zoom right into pro number two, because even though Safety Harbor has a quaint small town feel, the cool thing about it is that there are lots of small, independent owned businesses in the downtown area. So if you're looking for that small town feel plus having the ability to go walk downtown and go to a lot of locally owned businesses, that is one of the things that I think in general in America is going away. And when you find that, it just makes it feel like a pretty cool special place. So that is one of the cool things about Safety Harbor downtown. You will find that spread throughout the downtown streets and it's a really cool, fun way to get to know the people in the town because a lot of the people who own the businesses live in Safety Harbor. You also have events and things that happen in the downtown, farmer's markets, community events, parades. So you really get a good community feel and you get to know the people that you live around. And so it once again, feels like that small town feel, not too small where everybody knows everybody's business, but small enough where you can get to know the people who live around you and make your lifestyle just a little bit more meaningful than maybe an area where that's not the kind of situation. So I would definitely say that's my pro number two. Okay, let's talk about pro number three. Now, if you look at Safety Harbor on a map right here, you will see that Safety Harbor is literally directly west of Tampa. It's directly north of St. Petersburg and it's directly east of Clearwater. So why is that super amazing? Well, first of all, you're near the beaches because you just drive west and you get to Clearwater. You're near the Tampa airport and basically all of Tampa. You just drive east over the Courtney Causeway Bridge and you get to Tampa and you want to check out St. Pete and even further down Sarasota and Bradenton and all those great areas, you just go directly south. So it's a very conveniently located area. Is that one spot where you literally have access to everything around you. So if you want to go out and have a fun day or if you want to do something that isn't maybe close to home, you easily can do that from Safety Harbor. 
And that leads me directly into my pro number four. Safety Harbor is near a lot of the major roads. So it is right directly near McMullen Booth, which is one of the main roads that goes north and south. It connects to Highway 19, which is just one step over from that, which goes all the way up to Tarpon Springs and beyond and all the way down through St. Petersburg and beyond. You also have the Courtney Causeway, which is on the very south of Safety Harbor, which takes you from Tampa to Clearwater and back. And then right above that, you have State Road 580, which basically is another road that takes you directly from Tampa all the way into Dunedin. So whether you're trying to get in and out of Safety Harbor, even though half of Safety Harbor is right up against the water, you have so many major access roads at your fingertips that it's never really difficult to get where you're going. And it's typically not too heavy traffic in Safety Harbor since it's more of a quaint small area. Most people who are gonna go there are from out of town if they're going to the downtown area or the people who live there because a lot of it is residential. That if you're trying to get in and out, you're most likely gonna have an easy time doing that. So that would be my pro number four. Okay, my pro number five and my last pro, because I feel like I have so many pros for Safety Harbor in general, but my last pro is a huge one, and that is that Safety Harbor is near everything, meaning it has ton of amenities near you. If you want to, if you live near downtown Safety Harbor and you wanna walk to grab something at the grocery store or the hardware store, you can. If you're hungry, you can go to the local restaurants. If you need gas, there's a gas station right there. If you need something, there's stores right in there next to the downtown. If you live on the outskirts of Safety Harbor, it's exactly the same. You're near the Clearwater Mall. You're near the Countryside Mall. You also have major hospitals right at the tip of Safety Harbor that are all encompassing hospitals to where if you have an emergency or if you just won't need to go there, that's right at your fingertips. You also are close to two major parks. Felipe Park and Moccasin Lake Park are two of the really amazing areas in Safety Harbor that are really right in your backyard. You're also close to really nice things like the Safety Harbor Resort and Spa, where you can go have a nice relaxing day with your friends, or if you want to take the boat or go fishing or go into the downtown park right off of the pier, you can do that too. It's all right there at your fingertips. And not to mention, if you like the nightlife scene, Safety Harbor doesn't have a huge nightlife. It does have some things going on for sure every now and then. And there's some fun little bars and, and places that you can go, wine shops and things like that but you are right next to Ruth Eckert Hall, which is a place that hosts tons of concerts and musical events and things like that. So you're not too far from a venue where you can go have an amazing night out. So for pro number five, I would say, even though Safety Harbor feels like a small quaint town, you really are near everything that you need. Okay, so now let's jump into the cons because we've been talking about a lot of pros. Now with the cons, I'm gonna throw a pro in as our con number one, and that is the small town feel. And the reason why I throw it in as a con is because you might not want a small town feel. You might wanna be in the hustle bustle. You might wanna be in a place where there's stuff happening and things are going on and you can go outside and there's always something to do or see or whatnot at any time of the day. And that's not necessarily what you're gonna get in Safety Harbor. So if you're someone who likes that city life or that maybe more touristy type of area or someplace where there's just always something going on, then you might wanna think twice about living in Safety Harbor, even near the downtown because at night, downtown can kind of get quiet and quaint and it's just not one of those places that's a hustle and bustle city like a lot of the surrounding areas that you might find a little bit more likable if that's kind of your jam. All right, let's talk about con number two. Now, Safety Harbor, like I mentioned, is small town, but Safety Harbor has a lot of residential. It's 
mostly all residential except for the small part of the downtown area and then along the water we have Felipe Park and some of the other amenities that you can go to. Otherwise, it's really just all residential houses. So if you're big into walking, there are some areas where it might not be as walkable as if you like lived near downtown or lived, you know, way north by the Countryside Mall or way south by the Clearwater Mall or really close to McMullen Booth to where you might be able to walk to some of the restaurants up there. But for the most part, you're probably gonna need to drive if you live somewhere outside of the main downtown area because it's not necessarily super walkable. And that's because like I mentioned before, it is a lot of residential. So to get where you wanna go, you're gonna have to hop in that car or on the bus to get some of the things that you might need. Okay, let's jump into con number three. Now, this is an interesting one, and some of you might be like, that's not a con, Gina. <laughs> some of you might be like, I see what she's saying. So let's get into it. Con number three is that Safety Harbor is what I would call a pristine area versus a native Florida area. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's some areas and properties in Safety Harbor that are more native looking. And what I mean by that is there's a lot more foliage, it's more overgrowth, it might look like it's just not pristine like you see in certain areas of Florida where the grass is perfectly green and the palm trees are perfectly clean and everything's perfectly hedged. It's not like that everywhere in Safety Harbor. There are places where you might think, this place looks a little bit run down. But when you really take a look at it, it's just more of a native landscape. It's just the types of foliage, the types of greenery that are growing in the area. It may be an older area of Safety Harbor where it might not be the kind of area where people have, you know, put in all new green perfect lawns and updated all of their trees and things like that. It just might be a little older, a little more old Florida as we call it similar to what you would find in like a Gulfport area or something like that. So just keep your eyes open if you do come to Safety Harbor, especially like right around the downtown area in specific parts of Safety Harbor, you might start to think that it looks maybe not as upkept, but just keep in mind that it might not necessarily be that it's not upkept, it's just more native. All right, and we are on to our con number four. It was kind of hard to come up with some cons for Safety Harbor, but this one might be a good one to, to at least mention. Now, Safety Harbor, because it is right up against the Tampa Bay, if you look at the map, it is a little bit more prone to high flooding zones than other areas. However, with that being said, that's typically just along the waterfront and at the top by like the main Felipe Park area and a couple of, um, you'll see a couple of like streams or small rivers that will go into the more central area of Safety Harbor. But weirdly, one of the good things about that is Safety Harbor in certain areas is actually not as flood prone than some of the areas that you might find like in St. Pete. North St. Pete has more of a high flood zone area than Safety Harbor. So flood zones in general are always a con. It's something to you know look out for. Nobody wants their properties flooded, of course. But one of the cool things also, which I guess maybe this isn't as much of a con as I thought, is some areas are not as bad as some other areas in Pinellas County. So if you wanna see a flood map, we can always share that with you. You can always look that up as well. But for the most part, just keep in mind that you are next to the water and anything next to the water is always a little bit more prone to flooding. So that is my con number four. All right, and there you have it, the pros and cons for Safety Harbor. I will say, like I mentioned before, Safety Harbor is a great area, it really is. It has a lot of things to get to and enjoy and amenities and parks and waterfront and everything like that. The homes are beautiful, they're quaint, the small town feel, the community feel, it is, in my opinion, a great place for families or if you're looking to retire, it has just everything that you need and it's close to everything. So coming up with a lot of cons was a bit tough for this little area of Pinellas County, 
but I did my best. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit if you do have any questions at all, or if there's something you think I might have should have mentioned that I didn't, put those in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and just get a feel of you're thinking about coming to Safety Harbor and if that was ever on your bucket list of places to go or visit. I would love to chat with you about it. So as always, until next time, I will see you later. Bye.